Welcome guys to another Tales of Middle Earth. As you know, I'm your channel host Adam, and today again with me is Father Justin. And we are back for what? Did we even name this? I don't even think we named. We didn't this. name this. No. You said Tales of Middle Earth there. Yeah, well, that's your... the that's like the segment name though. Yeah, like, I don't think we name. named this. Like, you, yeah, you, this is the you know, the Chronicles of the Silver Arrow, right? Yeah, and yeah. so this is sort of like the backstory to that with about the Lower Chieftain Vanguard. So we'll yes. just call it. The Lord Chieftain the Vanguard Lord Chieftain segment thing. Yeah, 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 that works. The Lord Chieftain Vanguard yeah, yeah. to go along with your story and narrative on your Facebook page. Yeah. Well, I should say blog, yeah. um, which I will make sure I link in the description of this video. Sounds good. Um, and if you haven't, go check it out because you have a couple of chapters that you wrote. Yeah, on so you can go on to www.maris/hobbies.com. Yeah, and it's so it's my personal hobby blog. So I've got. Articles from painting to my prep for Golden Demon to a bunch of well, right now too. But we're gonna getting more short story battle reports where I basically play battles like we we're gonna see in the video today. Yeah. And I take the events and I actually write it out as a short story, as you yeah. would like a yeah any a short sort of story. adventure type. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. A short story. Yeah. Which is exactly what I think battle companies lends itself to is that, it that does. great narrative and there's yeah. something floating around in front of your something. face. Living in the country, yeah, mm -hmm. bugs everywhere. Um, but yeah, so I, I I agree that like this just lends itself to that it sort of short story because this yeah. is all about narrative. It's all about growth. It's all about well, battle company is just great. It's one of my exactly. favorite ways to play. Mm -hmm. um, well, and this style of play is one of my favorite ways to play any game. So like yeah. whether it's like a forty k based system or or anything, anything exactly. that has like a growth kind of, of characters and that story, to it, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. and I love it. Um, so, if you haven't tuned into the last video, basically what happened is uh, the lower uh, chieftain uh, vanguard have um, ambushed or attempted to ambush mm -hmm. and stop a wandering uh, band of orcs from infiltrating or entering into the Shire. The Shire. So, the, the, this whole story is happening around the time of... Uh, around the time of Bilbo. Yeah, yeah when he's Bilbo leaving the Shire, Shire and such. Yeah. Um, and so basically it's the, the Nazgul at, or Mordor is trying to penetrate into the Shire to find Bilbo Baggins yeah. and the rangers and that are trying to protect the borders. And so this is the story of the Lower Chief and Vanguards in protecting the Shire. And they did not do that well at their no, uh, last they, they, outing, let a couple, they let a couple get away. Yeah, yeah. well yeah. not get away, get in. Which is worse. Yeah, getting away is one thing. Get away it's one getting, thing. In getting in because is, yeah. now they're looking to wreak havoc and, and sort of uh, go from Pillage there. Pillage and burn and so on and so forth. Yeah, so they're going to have to smother this out before it gets too big. You That's know? right. Mm -hmm. So the fires of the Shire could be burning and they do have to smother those fires out. Like yeah, they do. Yes, so yes. Today, today's scenario is basically a rescue mission with a narrative twist of it's not so much of a rescue as me trying to hunt down the oryx. That got through the last that, scenario. That's right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so then uh, you are basically bringing on your warband yeah. to help protect them from the other side. So uh, basically the board is almost the exact same except what we did was the Shire or Hobbit holes that Alex Wright made uh, that were on my edge of the board that I was sort of protecting. We sort of moved it up mm -hmm. so it was like further into the Shire then changed up the scenery so it yeah. was like you know represented a, a slightly different location exactly. tied into the other ones. So this give is me a few more places to hide behind from yeah. your pesky arrows. That's right, that's right. There's definitely a few more places for you to hide. But you yeah. came right at me last time, so I really can't say much. Exactly. And you chose to set up where you did, right? Yeah, so I was like, right. yeah, okay. Uh, so I mean, it worked. It worked, because you got <laughs> off and you won. But you lost some people. Yeah, well, I mean, he's only, you know... Nazig only has got a he's only got a minor scratch, so he's, yeah, so he's just he's, missing out this one. Yeah, he's missing yeah. out this one, you know. Yeah. But we'll be back. That's it. Well, let's show you guys the battle companies that we're using today. Show you the board that we are using, and get right into the match from there. Awesome. So here we are with the lower chieftain vanguard. We have Barandor, uh, which is my uh, leader here. Uh, he has currently sitting on two experience, no injuries, spear, bow, and armor. And then I have Elros, uh, who is the spear, bow, and armor um, ranger of the north. And then I have Arond, uh, which is just a basic ranger of the north with the spear, or with the bow and armor. Or sorry, Arond is over here. And then Hurin over here is the same thing. Uh, so he's sitting on three experience. Elros is sitting on three experience. Uh, Arond is sitting on one, and Berendor is sitting on two. So that is my battle company going into today. A whole whopping four heroes. Father Justin, who do I have here sitting in the middle of the board? Okay, so in the middle of the board, we've got my leader, Gal. 
Balg, who has two experience from the last battle. Yeah. Then we've got the orc who made it through last game. Yeah. So he's the orc that you're trying to kill. Yeah. And then we've got Mr. Backup Spear over here just to make sure that, you know, it's just everything goes well. Yeah, everything goes well. Yeah. You know? Psychological reassurance. Yeah. And then coming onto the board. To and over here with these guys. So we've got uh, here, we've got Dalg, who's also got two experience. As I mentioned, Nizarg is currently on the side. Uh, he'll be joining us for the next battle. Yep. And then we've got four more Orc Warriors with so three with Spear, one with Sword and Shield. Awesome. And Mr. Trusty Wild Warg over here. Sounds great. I'll show you the board next. And here's the board that we are playing on. So basically, um, the two Hobbit holes here and here, we just push them to the opposite side of the board to represent um, where... Uh, they were sort of fighting the last mm -hmm. time and them entering onto and then just sort of laid out the trees and like a forest over there farm patch over here another hobbit hole and then the various freestanding trees and rocks i haven't decided what side i'm starting on yet uh, because i forgot to actually read over the rules for rescue so rescue for the scenario wise um so the attacker uh, gets victory if the defender's hero has been slain. So I got to kill that. In this case, it's just kill this guy. Mm -hmm. I get victory from that. Um, the defender has a victory if the attacker's battle company has been reduced to less than fifty percent of its starting models. So you I have to kill three rangers. three of them. So you know what I'm going to be targeting everything after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. Could be a very quick match. Good thing um, this guy's got a That's it, right? Uh, special rules for this scenario uh, is surprise ambush. The attacker always has priority in the first turn. Then to the rescue, the defender's battle company moves onto the board from the opposite board edge uh, to the attacker at the end of the first round. Uh, and I get to choose what board edge I want to deploy mm -hmm. from. And I get to set up within 15 inches of the back line. And then against the odds, should the hero survive, they will gain additional experience. In this case, should this character survive, he will become a hero he will. at the end of this match instead of the experience. I'm so that is the change. So with myself being able to pick the table board edge, it makes complete sense that we continue to play from where my forces left off, which was defending the two hobbit holes and the road going into the Shire, which is sort of like this section here. I wish I actually had like a cobblestone road like map. I know yeah. you can get like a 2D like neoprene style that you can sort of like lay out and everything. I'm like, right. that might be a neat idea to yeah. pick up one time. Uh, but I don't have it right now, but maybe one day. Uh, just for things like this where I need like a road going through the mat or something mm -hmm. like that. So, um, but yeah, so I will set up within 15 inches of uh, this board edge, which takes me about up to the, this sort of like tough of grass and coming across. Yeah. So I will come back with my deployment next. And my deployment, I put over here Elros uh, as well as Arant, and then I got uh, Barandor and here and there, like so, for my deployment. And this leads us into round one, sir. Round, round one, one, where I have priority automatically. You have priority automatically. So I will do my movement. So here we are at the end of my movement. What I did is these guys moved up the full six inches and these guys moved up three here and three there. Uh, so I could still shoot with two. And then I guess it's over to Father Justin to move these guys and then bring on at the end of his guys to the rest of his team. And the end of Father's Justin's move. Uh, you move these guys up here. I did. Spear support in the back. Uh, I th was hoping to leave this guy out, but I did not. I moved him up slightly too much, uh, where that guy could jump on him still. Um, but the spear support is also blocking um, my shot on that guy that I had a clear open shot, which is the target. Uh, and this guy still can shoot, but he's going to be shooting through the stones, where the warg has ran up from the center of the board, as well as your five other models over there. So that is the end of the movement phase. I guess it's time for shooting. Shooting, shall we? Yeah. Sh shooting. Let's go with this one that has one in the way for that That's guy okay. there. Hitting on a four. That's a two. Uh, this guy with one in the way from the spear support. Hitting on a four. Hits, Hits. in the way. Hits the spear guy with a one. Let's see if I get him. I need uh, fives. That's another one. That's definitely not what I want to be rolling with only four models on the board. Combat's up next, because that's all the shots that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, I have this guy here versus your two, so yeah. let's see. So what... I'll put Gog in the yellow, because yeah. he's got my points. I rolled a four. You got a five. five. Hmm. Hmm. I will push it with might. Okay, I'll push mine with might as okay, well. Okay, so you win, but we're both out of might there. And I need five. Fives, yep. Come on, baby! 
No. no! Burned your might. I did lose and I do get pushed back. That's good. All right, folks, going into round two priority. The board is looking like this. Not looking forward to these numbers and that works. Let's see what everybody gets. I got a five. Four. It goes to me. Ooh. I'd say, do you want to call anything? But you don't have any might. I have no might. All right. No. I guess that will be uh, my movement next. So the end of my movement, the only thing that I had happened was uh, we had uh, Elros over here charge into your hero and then Aron uh, charge into your spirit work there. And then these two guys, both uh, Barandor as well as Huron stayed stationary. Huron's down there. Uh, so that way I can get a couple of shots off because it's going to be a ward that's going to be charging up the board and I don't like that at all. All right, so the end of the movement phase, I saw I charged in over here. These guys stayed stationary. The warg has moved up in front of your other guy who made a beeline for the backboard. Mm -hmm. And then your other five guys have ran up the full six inches as well. Uh, I do have two shots. Two shots. Let's see what happens. Uh, so first off, I will do here and there going into uh, the guy he's trying to take down. But he has to mm -hmm. shoot through the stones as well as the wild warg. So here's... Is three plus first off. Nope. Uh, and then I'm going to get a uh, Baron Door. Uh, he just has one in the way for the Wild Ward yep. as well. His three plus hits yes. in the way. Let's see if it gets through. It does not hit the Wild Ward. Can I kill it? <gasps> I need a five. He's a five. I need a five. Oh, Baron Door is going to kill that Wild Ward because he is the most deadly thing that you have over here. So he will spend a point of might, turn that four into a five, and he will get an experience for it. Okay, so with the end of the shooting phase, I got no shots on the guy I needed to. I got to deal with these two guys to try to take out some numbers here. Um, so let's start off with the spear guy and Aaron. Okay. Or I got a six. Two. I need a four, four to kill you. That's a three. I don't have any might on him. He spent it already. Up next, uh, we got Elros versus, is it Niz? Galg. Galg. Okay. Well, I got a one. Beat the ah yes. Oh. Yeah. We had this happen last game. This we were both rolled a one game. too. Uh, can I kill him? I need uh, fives. That's a four, three. I can't even kill him. Not liking this. Let's see what happens. Priority roll next turn. Uh, you want me to roll that in there? I can. Uh, this fine. I got a three. You got it, sir. You got it. What are you going to do? We will find out. Okay, so Father's Justin's movement, he, all these guys have moved up. The orc with the axe in the back is the one that I have to deal with, uh, who hid. Uh, you tied up these two rangers with your spear guy, and then this ranger here with your one leader. My movement, I'm going to see if I actually have range to charge in there. I think I do, but I'll double check. So there are no shots this turn because I did have the space to actually end movement to get him on that guy there. So, sir, where do you want to go first? Because there's no shots. Are you calling anything first? No, no, I'm no. not. Okay. What? Just double what? checking. What? No, no, I'm not. Uh, but I do have a point of might still here and yep. a point of might over there. I'm not calling anything. Though. Okay, so we'll start with Gog. Uh, that's your hero there? Yep, yep. Okay. And I'm going to go with shielding. Uh, I'm going to fight regularly. I'm going to faint with the green one and fight oh, regularly with the brown faint. one. Well, because, oh. you know, hey. I got a three. Uh, you can't I, fight. I got it. Okay, so the fainting is on the green one, so I get to reroll ones and the other one. Fight value yeah. three, eh? uh, I do kill him as well. With Whoa, the green I got one. a fate point. I oh, hold on. No you, no, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, oh. you do. Okay, well, I get to choose a wound to go on one of these guys. Uh, it's going to be on uh, Baron Door because, well, why not? All right, so uh, I have my two sergeants over here, Aront and Elros, fighting into your spear guy. Uh, Elros is going to have the um, doohickey, the mice, fainting? and the green, oh, yes. and oh, yes. fainting. So green's fainting again, and it will be uh, Elros who has the might still. And the spear goes. I got a six. Three. So you win. You need That's fours. Six. Needing fours. You're rolling see. ones on the green dice. Yes. I get it. There we go. Technically, the other guy gets it. Aron. Okay, so the end of round number. I think this is like three, three two, or four. No, that was round three. Yes. So this is going into round four now. Going into round four. But that's what it looks like. Still got one work up here that I need to deal with, and let's see who gets priority. I got a one, and you got a nothing. Does that count as a nothing? 
You get a one. one. I had priority last. So it goes to me. No. no, you had priority last. Yeah, so it goes to you. Goes to me. Goes to me. Excellent. I know what I'm doing. So with combat, or sort of combat, jumping ahead, jumping ahead, with movement, uh, I had Baron Door over here as well as Elros charge so that the guys on the outside could still shoot if required. Or able, I should say. Let's see what happens with Father Justin's movement. I'm assuming everybody's just going to be moving up because you got to try to take me down to 50% of my guys. Yeah, i got to kill three rangers. So, and that's not going to happen by just standing there it, looking pretty. No, it's not. That ward was the best bet. And guess what happened? Yeah, but Bam. he did his job. He prevented A you death. from auto-winning. That's so, right. You know. That is true. That is very true. <laughs> For eight points, I can't complain. No, no. Points. And he is a threat. Like, if he got in in one combat, I would probably be dead mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. I don't like this, sir. No. You are not allowed to hide. You're not allowed to hide. What are you not allowed to hide? No. I'm All an right. orc. Of course I'm allowed to hide. You coward. Sounds good. We will come back with shooting next. Shooting wise, starting here with Aaron, shooting into your guy over there. Uh, he has two in the ways, one for the stone, one for the tree. So hitting on three plus. First in the way for the stone. For the tree! Oh! There's no might though, so this is it! Oh, I needed fives. And then over here, uh, I have two in the ways, one for the spear, one for the tree as well. Uh, so hitting on threes! <laughs> I guess we're going in combat phase next. Yeah. Um, let me see. I'm going to faint with Elros's green dice, and the uh, Baron Door is going to be using the brown dice. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm going to shield. No, you're not. Should yeah. I call her Hulk? Could be fun, but I believe he is. Five. No, I'm not going to. No heroics here. <laughs> I got it with six. Three. Yep. Uh, again, fainting with the green dice. Uh, so that's fours. I only need fives, right? Yeah, so you need a might point with one of your two guys. Yeah, well, and Elros, which is the green die, yep. can do it, which is this guy here. So, so he might as well kill him and take that uh, point as well. Going into round like seven million or something. What, sir, shall we do next? Uh, we have priority, I think. Oh, yeah. if that's what you call it. I got a three. You got a six. six. You got it, sir. You got Excellent. it. Let's see what you do. So here we go. Uh, I didn't get to move because Father Justin's mean like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I, I got that French connection. What can I say? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, so here we are uh, at the end of the movement phase. Uh, so you charged one of your spear guys into two there, one into there, and then trapped Arant over there. Arant, I hope you survive and roll really well, sir. Father Justin, where would you like to start? Uh, we're going to start with this, because I'm going to call it heroic combat with my last point of might. It's going to fail, sir. going to fail. Let's see what happens. All I need is a six! That's a strong five! That's a strong oh, five! Look at that. Oh, Epic fail! Um, I'm going to go after the spear guy, because he wants to get another experience point by killing somebody! D. Yeah, he does, <laughs> he does with go. a four. That's what you get. That's what you get for thinking you can do that to one of my rangers. Where to next? Where do you uh, want to go? We'll do this one right on here. one. Okay, I have no might here left, so I get a six. Oh, you take it. So I got a four. Okay, so I'll push I need him back. A five or six. You do need a five or six. Oh, it's not. Whew, I was sweating a little bit there. We might as last well thing. go over to the last one. I got two, so I will faint with the green dice again and roll with the uh, black fire die. The green die will be uh, Baron Door. So let's see what happens. Two. I got a six. six. Let's see who gets them with the kill. I need fours. Oh, and it is. That is Huron gets another one. All right, going into rounds, uh, not so many, uh, because there's not so many left, that no. is. <laughs> you are broken now at the beginning of this turn because you only have four models remaining. And this guy fails his courage test. You're slain. He's slain. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. We yeah, no, no, I'm pretty sure as well. I've played this sure. scenario before, and I it's think been, that's how it played it. It's been so long now, I don't even remember. Uh, so let's roll for priority mm -hmm. first. Let's go. I get a three. A oh, one. I got it. Good goes to me. Here we go. Have an at the... My movement, I'm going to go here for this guy. I'm going to go here for this guy. I'm going to go, well, I'll just type. I guess I don't need to go there, but yeah. I'll just go here like this and okay. there like so. That, sir, is my go. And he's that got a my courage go. test. And this guy here needs a courage test so you can move him. Courage two? Yeah. See what happens. He makes it with a nine. 
He makes it with a nine, so you get to move him, which is good. And his one model, that lonely orc who is trying to survive and escape the Shire after retrieving hidden information from the tree back there. <laughs> this came back up the board. It was like, you know, like one of those old, like, you know, time capsules buried into a tree. Instead, it's like a go. keg of grog or something. <laughs> Combats. Uh, you who choose has, your priority. I do, who has might left? Here and has might. Um, I'm gonna call a heroic combat here and try. Oh, okay. You're well, gonna you're try. Rapidly fail. I hope I don't. I got a three. So oh, I do. You got a six. Okay. Uh, I'll push him back. Bam. Uh, Let's see what happens. <gasps> that's a wound. You got a fate save. The. Mm, no, you don't. You are. Oh yeah, down he goes, down he goes. Down, he goes. Her is down for the count. So this next one-on-one -on -one here, let's see what happens. I got a six. Uh, you went on fight fight. And let's see if I can get a five to. That's a pro that one. That's a nothing. That's a nothing. All right, this over here, El Ross is fainting with the green, and the other one will fight regularly. I'm gonna fight regularly because I'm gonna just gonna be, you know. You're gonna be heroic. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, what it do? What it do? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Who are you going to try to take out? Uh, we'll go for this guy here. Okay, so I am outnumbered now. And let's see what happens. <gasps> no, no. no. I fainted, but... Okay, priority. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I got a three. Two. Two. All right. Close to me. I rolled Did a three. You... you rolled a two. Two. Oh, sorry. I thought it was time. <laughs> okay. Someone's due for another coffee. <laughs> we need another coffee in the house. Uh, so let's see what I can do here. Okay, so the end of my movement, uh, I charge this guy, charge that guy. I'm hoping that this guy is way out left spear field. Spear support with this Stop guy? Stop it, he is a spear guy. <laughs> All right, well, that is what it's looking like. I appreciate like. the valiant effort. That However, is what it's that looking guy had like. A spear. That's right. Ugh. 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 So bad, but so good. All right, we will come back with combats next. Save the most important combat for last. Let's start with this one here. Elros versus your hero. I get a five. That's strong. Two, Ooh, it's yours. I need a five again to kill. <gasps> That's a one. Over here, we got Barondor up against a lonely orc. I get a four. That's not bad, not bad. You get a three, three and I need a five to kill as well. <gasps> there it is. There Barondor go. gets another kill. We forgot also, this guy needs to take courage test. So let's see what happens to him. He would have ran away. He ran away. So it would have been one on one there. Yeah. There it is a one on one there. It is. Uh, yeah. And so, big fight. Big fight, we got this. Uh, Aaron Rangers versus your. Down. No, he's not with a five! Who oh. can I get you with five? Again! Any. Does he have a mite left? No, he's already used it, unfortunately. <sighs> boo! Boo! Alright, so here we go. Priority, next turn. This is it. I'm not broken. You are, sir. Mm -hmm. I got three to your one. Let's see who gets it. I got a five. You got a one. Goes to me. Sorry for your luck. Okay, so here we are with movement complete. I charged in here, and then these two charged in over there. Uh, no shooting, so we're gonna go right in combat phase. Let's just do this one first. Okay. All right. I got a five. Five. Take my fight value. Right Need a five to wound. Yep. I saw a six there for a second, but nothing. And over here we have these guys. I'm gonna uh, shield. I will be fainting with the green dice, and that will be uh, Aron who's kneeling over there. Let's see. Oh, I get a six! Okay, yeah, well, I'll roll anyways. Oh, fives. Yeah, well, that's really strong, but yeah. not strong. He's trapped. All right. So. I think that's it. Yeah, because that I is too high it. to, you'd have to climb over that side. Yep. So the greens will be um, the Aron and the uh, browns. They'll be Barondor. Barondor. As I'm dropping everything, all I need is that's a single five. five. Single five! And I do get it on, uh, ooh, who do I want to get that? Barondor's already leveling up this turn, so I will give it to uh, Aron instead. Uh, All right, going into my uh, War's Aftermath, I do have injuries here for Hurin. Hurin needs to roll 2d6, and let's see what happens. That is a 6, which is a full recovery, which is fantastic. That's all I want. So he's coming back. Uh, so current experiences, everybody except for Barondor uh, is sitting at 6. So 1, 2, 3. And then he's sitting at 7 experience. So everybody has level up as well. So i got to start figuring out what I'm going to do with him. So starting up my advancement for Barondor here, he has decided to go on the path of the general because he's holding a banner and really is Haladir in disguise, I guess. But not really Haladir because, yeah, it's Barondor. So, uh, here we go. 
2d6, let's see what he gets. He gets a 3, which is Inspiring Presence. Friendly models within 6 inches of this hero count as being in range of a banner. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. Wait a minute on closer inspection. That's not Haldir. That's Halbrad. My bad. Up next is Elros. He has taken the path of the warrior. Let's see what he gets with a roll of a 6. Uh, that, sir, is plus 1 to my courage to a maximum of... Five, so he does get courage five because he's only at four. Up next is Arond, and he is on the path of the ranger because he is one of those rangers, and he gets an eleven. That's pretty good. That's heroic accuracy. This hero may now use the heroic accuracy heroic action in addition to any others they have access to. Better at shooting, I guess. And lastly, but not least, is here and here who I put on the path of the scout. Let's see what happens to him. He gets a 9, which gives him strength or defense, plus 1, each can only be improved by 1. Well, he does have the name here, and I might just give him the strength bonus of strength 5. So I'm sitting at 6 influence right now, and uh, I'm going to use 3 of those influence to give myself a roll on my reinforcement chart. Here we go. That's a 5, which is a Ranger of the North with Spear. Here we are with a ranger of the north with a spear, uh, and we are going to call him something I don't know yet. Uh, help me. Hey, Father Justin, you have this hero that died. Is he the only hero that was killed at the end of this one, or yeah, were both because, the heroes? because uh, he survived. Okay. Yeah. So, your other hero survived. So, uh, this is uh, Zag? No, no. This is... Galg. Galg. Okay, so he has to roll on a hero injury chart to see what happens to him. And, we get, and oh. you get a nine, which is just a scratch. You like these just a scratches. Is he Clearly. too cowardly to re-roll, or is he going to just miss it the last one? You have your other guy that comes back. I have my other guy that comes back. Yeah, so you're still up to two heroes. Yeah, I still got two. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay, sounds good. Here we are, guys. The after action report. You just saw the match between the lower chieftain vanguards and yes. the... Rabble of Orcs. Rabble of Orcs. Rabble of Orcs. From wherever they roam. Yeah, yeah. I haven't figured that out yet. They're just, just random. random. They're just, just orcs. They're just orcs. orcs doing things. <laughs> uh, but we did fend off uh, the orcs, and uh, they are in a high retreat now at this point in time. Yes. Licking some wounds after taking quite the beating from the <laughs> some, rangers. Some serious wounds, yeah. Some very serious wounds, where uh, all my guys ended up uh, gaining experience quite a bit yes. and leveling up. So they've all at least advanced once. They all have a career now, and except for a, You've new... got a new recruit there. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Dimitroff. Dimitroff. So yes. Dimitroff is... Uh, yes. is the guy's name and uh, we'll see what happens with him yes so we got some good ideas for the next scenario as well which is gonna yep. be very good I think uh, because what we're gonna do is sort of like every so often throw in like some special scenarios so the next scenario actually is where we're gonna do a little bit of a merchant protection job I guess something like that yeah and yeah. Uh, something yeah. involving a cart and a pony that's yeah. right and a board and a board and dice and dice and, and, and models Lots of models. Lots of models. Lots of yeah. models. Mm -hmm. Well, Father Justin, again, thank you for a great match. My pleasure. Awesome. Guys, make sure you check back next week for the next episode of the, I guess it would be the Lower Merchant Chronicles. There we go. Lower Merchant. Lower oh merchant. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Lower oh Merchant okay. Chronicles. You sure this is P rated PG here? Yes, Lower <laughs> Merchant Chronicles. No. <laughs> the Lower Chieftain Chronicles. Lower Chieftain Chronicles. There, there we go. go. That's what we're going to call it. Lower Chieftain Chronicles. There we go. That works. Anyhow, guys, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, ignite your hobby.